Not a, it's a, not a scam. It's a legend call. These guys called me on the phone, the house phone, but I had enough time in between to get my microphone hooked up and record them on my computer. Thank you for calling your West Custom and Border Protection. How can I help you? I don't know. I got a call about a package, something about a package, and illegal okay. activity. I don't know. You called me. I don't know. All right. I will let you know. So, first of all, this is Officer James Cooper. Who? From the U.S. Custom and James Cooper. James Cooper. Okay. From the U.S. Custom and Border Protection. Okay. So, now, in, in order for me to pull out a file in my system, can you please verify me with your first name and last name? Yes, first name is Lamar. L-E-M-A-R. It's an L-O-M-E-A-R-E, -E, right? No, L-E-M-A-R. Lamar. L-E-M-A-R. All right, and what about the last name? Grotum, C-R-O-T-O-M. All right, so can you please help me out with a zip code? One, three... All right, so give me a moment. Let me go ahead and pull out a file in my system, okay? Okay. Thank you for holding the line. Are we there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, so now the call is in reference to an ongoing investigation going on under your name. We have this on parcel, which was going through the U.S. Postal Service. And when the parcel was scanned, we have found some catch amount and controlled something. So but do you sure. have any knowledge regarding what's going on under your name? No, what was in the package? I didn't hear you. I will, when we scanned that parcel, we yeah. have found some cash amount and control substance. So do you have any knowledge about what's going on under your name? Well, no. Why would I have cash and controlled substance okay. sent to me? So before we pour this further and explain to you what this investigation is all about, can you please verify me with your first name? Lamar, right? Lamar. Lamar. L-E-M-A-R. Right. So can Lamar. you please help me out with the last four digit of a social? 1463. All right. So now, let me provide you all the information regarding this case which is filed against you. Now, U.S. Customs and Border Protection has found and sees one person which was used in U.S. Postal Service under your name. When this person was scanned, we have found controlled -like drug substance, cash worth of 94,000, and non-tech driver license under your name from different states. What? So do you 90? consume any illegal how much drugs? Money? How much money? $94,000. 94... I don't have $94,000. Yes. $94,000 and non-tech license under your name. No, I don't have that. Okay, so you mean to say that this person was not belongs to you, right? Well, no, but I'll take it if you want to send it with $94,000. No. It's a criminal person. We huh? have found some cash amount, 94000 okay. and nine tech driver license under your name. And as well, we have found some drug substance, cash substance of $250,000 under your name. So there's a reason... We have got an arrest warrant under your name. Arrest warrant for me? Yes. Why? Because of my because of Why? money laundering and drug trafficking case under your name. Oh no. Okay, so to be honest, I believe that this all criminal activity was not by you. Well no, it I, wasn't. Well no. Yes, I believe you. Because I have already taken your past record. And according to your past record, there is no criminal activities under your name. And as well, we have found that you are an innocent person, right? Well, yeah, I'm an innocent person. I'm, uh, reti I'm retired. Yes, I'm, I believe. I'm all right. 71 so I believe years you, old. What would I, I be doing with drugs? I believe you. Can you hear me? Yeah. So I believe you that you are an innocent person. Yes, I but am. But maybe someone is misusing your personal information under your name. But so do are. you have to stay with anyone else? Who can use your personal information? Oh, I don't know. I, I let, uh, no, nobody really. Okay, so in order for me to find a real culprit, I just want you to cooperate with me, okay? Okay. 
All right, so first of all, what I, I just have, have a few here. questions for you for an access verification form. Access. In order for me to differentiate what information is yours and what is fake. Okay. So I just have a few questions for you, okay? Oh, okay. All right, so first of all, may I know, have you ever been to the state of Texas? Yes. I'm sorry? Yeah, I've been to Texas. Yeah, I used to work down there. I worked in a paperclip factory. Okay, so years ago, know, years ago, I worked ever on lost your personal information in the past. Yeah, we used to uh, take the long pieces of wire and cut them into smaller pieces. Uh, then we'd send them on to the other department, and they'd twist them into paper clips. Okay, so may I know, have you ever lost your personal information in the past? No, no. Okay. So, as I can see... There are total 18 bank accounts has been created under your name. The what? So in order for me to define 18, one eight eighteen bank account under your name. One AD account? I don't really know what that is. No, one eight eighteen. There are total 18 bank account has been created under your name. Oh, 18. So in order for me to differentiate what okay. bank account is belongs to you and what is fake. Okay. So can you please verify me with your name of the bank? Name of my bank? Titty Bank. Yes. Titty Bank. All right. Okay, so in Titty Bank, do you deal with checking or receiving? I got both. All right, so in checking account, can you please confirm me approximate amount? I'll probably 1200 500 right? 1200 1200 All right, and what about on the saving? Savings, I got probably 4000 All right. Okay, so... May I know, do you have any debit card and credit card under your name? Yeah, both. All right. So you have both debit and credit, right? Yes. All right. Okay. Now what? So may I know, do you have huh? any investment account like IRA for... Oh, uh, I, no, I ain't got none of that shit. All right. No. So I believe you have a car under your name. A car? Yes. Yeah, I got a car. got a truck. Ford F-150. Oh. Ford by Ford. Four by four. All right, so you have it. You have a truck, right? Yeah, big truck, big truck. All right. I can so back it to a two-car garage if I had to. Do you, okay, so now, do you live with your own house on a rent house? And I live in my own house with my cousin Eddie. Oh, all right. So I believe you live with your family. Yeah, my cousin Eddie. Okay. So may I know, do you have a cell phone? Which has been registered under your name. Yeah, I got a cell phone. All right. So may I know the line which we're connecting right now, is this a home phone number or a cell phone number? No, this is my cell phone. It's the only phone I got. Okay. So the line which we're connecting right now is a cell phone number, right? Yeah, that's right. All right. So now I have done my work and assist verification from. Okay, And now Good. I'm going to transfer your call to our senior officer, who is now the right person to help you out in this situation, okay? Help me out do what? I'm sorry? To do what? I didn't do anything. Yes, I believe you that you did nothing. I so did when nothing. you talk to our senior officer, you must say that you are not a criminal. I am not a criminal? Using... Yes, yes. Okay, I believe I'll you tell him that. You. I'll tell him that. The language... I'm sorry? I'll tell him. I'll tell him I'm not a criminal. Yes. You, you must say him. that you are not a criminal. You can tell him. Okay. So because... Yes, because the line which we're connecting right now is in federal recorded line. Federal this recorded. recorded call will be played to the courthouse the to court? prove that okay. you are an innocent person. Yeah, I so don't in order know. For me to prove that you are an innocent person, when well, you talk to our senior yeah, officer, know me you must courthouse. say that you are not a criminal. Okay. But maybe someone is misusing your personal I bet information they are. under your they name. They probably okay? are. I wonder if it's my cousin Eddie. Who knows with him? Okay. All right, I'm so give me a moment. Me. Let okay. me transfer your call, okay? Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, Good morning. Hello? Thank you for holding. Hello? This is Jonathan Wolford. Jonathan? Chief Investigating Officer in Department of Justice. Okay. Where are you going, Lamar? What? Lamar. Lamar. It's Lamar. Lamar. Okay. How are you doing, Lamar? Lamar Scrotum. All right. Why? How are you doing, uh, Mr. Croton? Good. Well, Mr. Corden, I see that uh, you had a word with my fellow officer in regards to money yeah. laundering and drug trafficking case right. that we are working on right now. Right, and so it's you not me. I told him it's you. not me. It's not me. Okay. It's okay. not you. No. I'm retired. Now, you see, well, I certainly understand that. I can see that, Mr. Uh, Mr. Corden. 
I can certainly see that. But you see, I, I, want, I want you to understand that we are not accusing you. We are not implying saying that you are lying to us okay. you know, about anything, okay? No, I'm not. Okay. But you see, I want you, to, I want you to understand that your credentials has been compromised and been used for illegal activities. Okay. For money laundering and drug trafficking, yeah? Okay, well, go arrest the right person. What am, what am I supposed to do here? I don't know. You see, we, I mean, uh, I understand your situation. I understand what, you, what, what you're saying. Okay, good. You do need to understand, you need to understand whatever is being done is being done with your credentials, right? And well, if you say so. Have, yeah, it's, everything is being yeah, done yeah. with your credentials. Done my stuff. And it okay. does not have any... It does not have any evidence or any information about the people oh, you who don't. would be doing this kind of illegal activity. Okay, so now, what am I supposed to do about had, it? What am I supposed to do? Yeah, what was that? Now, you see, we had received a subpoena from the federal court uh -oh. initiated with legal proceedings against you. Against me? To spend your current... But you know it's yeah, not mm -hmm, me. Again. But you know it's not me. Uh, I don't get it. I... Uh, Yes, I understand that. But you see, being an educated person yourself, you yeah, do realize yeah. and understand. I, I went, the court I went house, to 10 years of school. House, the, I got a 400. House, I got a 400 in English. 400. What was that? I said I went to school, yeah. I'm educated. I got a, four, I got a 400 standing in English. Okay. So what does that, you know, make difference in this in this case? Well, you're the one that said I was educated. I'm just letting you know the, the style of my education. Yes, you are. Yes, you are definitely educated. Yes. Okay. And I want okay. I want you to understand okay. that the court, you know, the the federal court does not declare any any judgment based on any verbal statement. But no. they need a physical evidence. Physical. To clear, okay. You know, the judgment before the court. Right? How do you do that? So. Whatever, whatever evidence, whatever know information we have gathered, you know, during an investigation, everything, everything are against you and your credentials, yeah? Uh-huh. So, it, and, and the yeah. government never told you to, you know, disclose any of your credentials, or the government never suggests you to, you know, uh, let anybody have an access with your credentials. Well, I yeah? didn't. It is you. Well, I didn't. The social security number is your only, you know, confidential credential right. that, you, that well, has been... Who would I give it to? You I, didn't give it to government. I didn't give it and to you anybody. I didn't give it to anybody. You had an agreement with the Social Security Administration stating that, you know, whatever comes up with my credentials, with my social security number, I would be a responsible person to take care of any situation, and that's how you claim your social number, social security card. I get social security. That's what I get. I get social security. I'm retired. I get social security. Your social security, your social security number and your you credentials has been causing significant harm to a national security, and you're you're denying the fact, and you're trying to deny, you know, uh, the situation where your credentials is being, you know, impacted or you know, getting. That, you know, of course, damage I deny you. it. On the national security. Uh, yeah, I don't have nothing to do with national security. Mm -hmm. But somebody else has your credentials and been causing significant harm to a national security. How, well, how did they do that? How did they do that? They got drugs see, and money. Every, it, it's a matter. It's a matter where every day. You see, first of all, uh, yeah. Mr. Croton, I'm not here Scrotum, to yes. argue with you. I'm not I'm arguing. Not I'm just telling you. you it's not me. I, I'm not I arguing. Argue. I don't want to argue with you. I don't want to argue with you. There's no point of arguing rather than, you know, rather than coming down and figuring, talk and figuring it out, right? Now, there is no, you know, see, I'm right. I don't have a time to, I don't have a time to, I don't have a time to sit here and argue with you. Yeah? I'm not arguing. You want I'm, I'm stating facts. Can, we can calm down. You I'm can calm. calm yourself. We can talk normally, and we can figure things out. Yeah. Okay. okay. Or it could, you know, it could go worse. It could go worse. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. Okay. Now you want me to do then? How do I get rid of this thing? Hello.